So, to start out, we have, um... Darius. Of course. You can't have Borg Tower without... I don't know why I put Darius. I just did. You got Borg, you have Nia, you got Cole, Lloyd, Jay, um, Kai, Sensei Wu, Totally Custom, Pixel, and Zane, 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 and Robot Guy. I'll go through each one real quick. You got Zane, Kai, Jay, Lloyd, Cole, Cyrus, Borg, Darren, Nia, Sensei Wu, Pixel, and a little Robot Guy. And then we have this. Boy, this is big. I, I, I gotta zoom out. It's too big. Okay. Uh, I don't even know if I got it all in the frame. Well, I hope I did. There's a little pull that sticks up. It's big! I had a ton of fun making it. It took me like a straight up month to build this. So, I used a ton an absolute amount of time. I used a ton of transparent blue window pieces all the way up. We got a ton of 1x2 plates and transparent blue. We got about 40 of these window frame pieces going up and down the middle here and then we have some highlights of dark gray yeah we'll start with outside down here i kind of made it slope up the kind of tricky thing about towers like this is it goes up it's all like jagged so i had to make some slopes and on the side of these walls i actually put windows and made it look quite nice over here and over on this side too. I tried to give it some forced perspective, so the higher up you go, the smaller the windows get. You've got two doors down here, and then you kind of have this center column, which goes up, it's all the same, but on either side, then it's totally different. You have a ton of black pieces, a ton of different window techniques, and then this top thing, my brother helped me build this, and then it's got the Borg Tower logo symbol thing here which is using teal and some of the nice sky blue pieces there my favorite part about this whole set is the interior rooms i really wanted to add a lot of detail and just all the callbacks to the seasons and i did that i packed a bunch of stuff i even made custom stickers which i will show you in my instruction video but if we turn it around you can see the interior. We have five levels here. We'll start down here in the bottom level. It's the lobby area. It's kind of an entryway into the lobby. You got stairs going up the sides. Over here we have the front desk area. On the other side is a plant and a chair. Um, over here I added a little charging station for Pixel right down here. I'm not actually sure if he needs to charge. But I put something in there just for fun. And then up the stairs on one side, we have a coffee maker so they can, you know, drink coffee. Because who doesn't want to drink coffee? Um, and then going up to the next level is kind of the um, inventive um, technology um, entertainment room. I don't know. It's in the, the first episode of Rebooted. We have a virtual reality gameplay system over here and then on this side we have the matchmaking machine here which doesn't actually work sorry you can put Nia up here she can stand on it see who her perfect match is and of course I had to put a little custom sticker of cool down there and you can see the hearts going up and everything we're up to the third level this level was my favorite to build this level was so much fun to build I put so much detail into it I'm super happy with it this is the manufacturing factory level with a bunch of ninjoids being made here. You can see the body is going down on the bottom conveyor belt and the head's going on the top conveyor belt. Um, I didn't want to use big conveyor belt pieces that actually turn because they're just so ginormous. And I didn't have all that much room to work with. So I just made smaller conveyor belts and they work just fine for me. You have the arm up here which grabs the head, grabs the legs and puts them all together. And then that's about it. We got computers, levers, all sorts of fun stuff over here. And then on the next level, this is the fourth level, we have the super high security room. You have the realm crystal that is kept here. You have the golden armor that is kept here. You have a random sign from Chen's Island that is kept here, of course, because who doesn't like you being random signs? Got a couple plants here, got some security cameras, of course. And then my favorite part of this level is this picture of Borg. So in Sons of Garmadon, in the very first episode, the Sons of Garmadon come in here and steal the first Oni mask. So you can see this picture of Borg. All you have to do is just remove this picture and behind it you have the first Oni mask surrounded by some lasers. So I'm really happy with that. Then our last and final level. This is using a lot of custom stickers. 
up here in the center you're gonna notice this elevator I made a custom sticker that looks like you're looking into an elevator and then of course I put the 100th floor sign there because it's technically not the fifth floor it's technically the 100th floor but oh well and then we have this huge computer system over on this side and it looks really nice but then you can flip it around and it has the overlord um, attacking the system hacking into the system I made an overlord sticker there and then over here you just have another desk another computer coffee cups you know a mouse all the stuff you need and then you have two little balcony parts over here elevators helicopter pads I don't know whatever you want to call them really nice to put minifigures on if you want to display something like this just say your minifigures up there and then on the top floor in the back of this big area right here we have a balcony so we can like stick Derek and Sensei Wu up there let's say just chilling up there guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it have a great day see you on the next build bye